In this video I will show you how to clear the cache and data of an app so that you reset the app basically. It's like reinstalling the app from the app store. The user data is lost when you do this so be careful if you have any impor important information inside the app like a notes app for example. I wouldn't want to clear the notes app data unless I know that it's synced to the cloud. So this is the, the thing. If you have a notes app that's only local on the phone and you do this, you will reset everything on the app. So this, you, you have been warned. And this works well for any app if you want to reset it, like you just install it from the Play Store. For example, if you have a game from the app, if you have a game from the Play Store and you finish the game, but you want to play it again, and there is no option in the game to allow you to reset the game, you can do this to actually reset the game to start from the beginning. So I will use this up here, this is the Snapchat. And what you want to do on Samsung Galaxy, this is your long press, and then you have this menu here. On the menu, you press on the info button, and you have all the details about the app, about permissions and notification permissions, and what it can access and everything, but then you have the storage, and I press on storage, and this is the storage used by this app. It gives me also the app version and uh, these are the app files which they don't change based on user data. This is the user data here. This is your preferences and your files if you have, depending on what kind of app you have. This could be very small or it could be really a large, large size. This is not very big. I just installed this for a test now. So you have, this is some Snapchat, it's just a test now. And uh, cache, this is the cache. You can actually clear the cache without losing any user data. This is the first thing to try if something is not working with the app. And then you have the button below, clear data and clear cache. If, if you have a problem with the app and you're not sure why it's doing it, first I would suggest clear the cache. It's very easy and try to use the app you might want to force quit the app and then try to use the app again to see if it's working and if it's still not working then you can see already it made the cache again so if i wanted to clear the cache i will have to go back and now i have the option to clear the cache again but if i want to clear the data also to reset the app completely you press clear data and then it will reset this this folder here. Now this is good to have this notification because it's important to know what's happening. It will permanently delete the following app data on your device. The chats, login, settings, personal info, app activity. I don't really use this. I only installed it to do a test to show you. So I will delete it. And now there is still some data showing there, but let's try delete. Now it's smaller. As soon as I open the app again, so the app, it was still open, that's why it, it kept adding things. When I open the app, now it's going to be like a new app ready to use. So this is the equivalent of deleting the app, reinstalling it from the app store, but with new settings, in case the app is keeping the settings between installs, you can use this option to reset the app completely. Thanks for watching. Keep talking, talking so much.